Hi everyone, so welcome back again to my YouTube channel and uh, it's been a long time or it's been a month after I uploaded a video which is my best and worst foundation that I ever had and for this video guys, uh, magre-review tayo ng sponges So here I have a Mumuso makeup sponge set water drop and calabash shape in a large size. Actually there's a lot of variation of this Mumuso sponge and this sponge it costs 179 pesos. On the right corner guys I have a um, calabash shape which is came from Daiso Japan. I bought this in a Mark Kimon. If I'm not mistaken it costs 88 pesos. So I'm going to compare these sponges. For round one, guys, to be fair, I'm going to use a bot. I sorry, yeah. I'm going to use a bot calabash shape. Okay. So dry, mas matigas si umuso than si Daiso Japan. Okay lang naman siya. Amoy goma, literal. Amoy rubber. Sa texture, nakita nyo na ang rubbery ng texture ng mumuso compare sa Daiso na talagang sponge mo siyang masasabi kasi may pagka latex film yung mumuso okay so ngayon let us try to dump it in a water okay so I have a container here ito natin ay hindi ito mag expand okay Hindi po siya nag-expand. See? And still matigas pa rin po siya. Yeah. See? Nangyiging daliri ko kasi talagang force ang nangyayari. Subukan naman natin si Daiso Japan. Here. Actually, alam niyo naman guys na si Daiso talaga ang gamit ko to begin with. At um, nag-expand siya to be very honest. Pero may mga ilang variation ako ng Daiso Japan sponge na hindi ko nagustuhan. Uh, huwag kayong bibili ng color black na sponge kasi nade-deform siya kapag nag, pag wet dry uh, pag wet po siya ginagamit or damp so here okay, nag-expand na siya ito na siya guys nag-expand siya and mas malambot na siya ngayon okay, let's compare the humuso, see? ito siya so, on, on this uh, video guys, I'm going to uh, use my infallible uh, L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation uh, in the shade of Fresh Beige and I'm going to mix it with 105 or Natural Beige. On this side guys, I'm going to use a uh, Mumusa sponge. Dugas! Ang sakit torture! At saka ang dami na absorb na foundation. Ready ba yun? Oh. Ang sakit. In terms of uh, sa pag-blend ng foundation guys, pwede na kaso literal masasaktan ka talaga. Kasi nagbabounce back talaga yung Sponge, I know. Kenari rin nga. Ang sakit talaga niya literal. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating guys, pero literal ganun yung nararamdaman ko. At uh, yung coverage is naging sheer coverage lang siya kasi look, na-absorb ng bongga ng mumuso sponge. So, I'm expecting for a full coverage when I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte, but on this side, it can totally see my blemishes and my breakouts ko dito. So, try naman natin Daiso Japan on the left side. Okay, so on this side guys, I'm going to use a Daiso Japan. Iba talaga pag nag-expand guys. Kasi mas nag-diffuse at saka mas nabigdan mo na maayos yung foundation.
Okay, um, like mo mo sa brand, nag-absorb din ng marami si Daiso Japan. Kahit pa paano nag-absorb din siya ng marami si. Pero in terms of blendability, um, mas gusto ko si Daiso Japan dahil mas smooth siyang magbigay ng um, pag-blend sa foundation. Mas, mas na-justify niya yung pag-blend ng foundation. And, of course, comfortability meron. Kasi talagang malamot at ang laki. Talagang nasasakop niya yung face mo at hindi siya ganun katorcho sa mukha. So, I'm going to finish first my fake, my foundation and I'll be right back. I hope guys, okay lang yung mga maririnig yung background right now because I have a fence here. <laughs> Dito ako gay sa'yo. Okay pa. May fan ako ngayon. Hello! <laughs> Ano kaya yung buhok ko? O, siya. Okay, so let's talk about their performance. So, Mumuso versus Daiso Japan. Round 1, I go for Daiso. Round, round 2 in terms of performance or uh, for a blending application, I prefer to Daiso again. And round 3, overall, here pa din. Ayoko magsalita ng masama sa Mumuso, guys, right now, pero... I am super, super disappointed. Kasi sa first video, eh, di ba, sa first part, kaya na, nalaman niyo kung paano ako nag-suffer sa pag-apply ng foundation kay Mumuso. Um, after ko nag ayos ng makeup, guys, to be very honest, nag-suffer ako sa cakey. Nag-cakey yung funda ko dito sa right, kung saan nag-apply ako ng Mumuso sa part na to sa bandang nose hanggang dito, guys. Sobra akong nag cake which means hindi niya na-diffuse or hindi niya na-distribute ng maayos yung foundation sa aking face. At the same time guys, look at this. Nag-consume nag siya ng napakaraming foundation which is very sayang. And um, ngayon, if you're going to ask me, it is, pwede ko ba siya ma-recommend ma sa inyo? The answer is, in my own opinion, no. You're just wasting your money to uh, for buying this product. I mean, I'm not saying na huwag niyo siyang bilhin, but Kung matikas ang ulo nyo, go at uh, do it in your, uh, for your own sake. Ito kasi talagang sa size pa lang o, oh, nag-expand, ang layo niya na. And I didn't really like it at all. To think na 179 pesos, this one, no, is it, that is a big no, a nine. So here, guys sa Japan, uh, ang gusto ko sa kanya guys is performance sa pag-blend ng foundation. Na diffuse niya na maayos at walang cakey na naganap sa aking face. E na, uh, siguro pagka kapareho lang nila, ni Mumuso is... Pareho silang malakas mag-consume or mag-absorb ng foundation. But I think that is tolerable for me. Kasi, the, um, mas importante sa akin ng um, pag-distribute o pag-diffuse ng foundation sa aking face. Especially, yung pag cake niya. And yeah, so... So before anything else, guys, don't forget to subscribe on my channel but to click the ring bell icon and follow me on my social media account and uh, yes, so see you on my next video guys. Bye!